I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn multiplication by I and its effect on our Venn diagram. So when we are working with complex number we represent the complex part of the complex number which is imaginary part rather along the vertical y axis and the real part along the horizontal x axis. So here we have the real part let me write this as R an imaginary part as i. Let us say this is one unit along the real part so this is one and on the imaginary part this will be represented by i and let's say this is minus one then here we'll have minus i. Now in this particular video we are going to see the effect of multiplication by i. To begin with let's start with uh, complex number let us say u equals to i let's say this is our complex number and we have to represent this complex number on the argent diagram so i will be represented it has no real part real part is zero so it is <coughs> so it is represented by the vertical arrow of unit length as shown here now what happens if I multiply this complex number by i, if I say it is i times u, then what happens? Well, the value of u is i, so it becomes i times i, which is minus 1. So minus 1 will mean that this complex number will be now kind of like this. So that is minus 1, right? Minus 1. So what really happened was that u when multiplied by i that means i times u rotated anti-clockwise by 90 degrees so this is counterclockwise 90 degrees do you observe that well let us continue this process and see what happens when i next time multiply by i so if i do i times i times u it'll be minus 1 times i or minus i. So minus i will as you know be shown like this. This is minus i. Again what we observe here is that it is again moved or rotated counterclockwise by another 90 degrees. So this is again counterclockwise by 90 degrees. So what you observe here is that every time you multiply by i, the complex number represented on the arc and diagram rotates counterclockwise by a degree of 90 degrees. You can continue doing this and what you will observe is that next time when you multiply it will be i, right? So, so if I do the next time, let me complete the whole circle. That is if I multiply by another i, the same complex number, then we get minus i times i, which is minus i squared or 1. So now this comes back to the as a real number with a value of plus 1, another rotation of 90 degrees. Do you see that? So likewise, it rotates with center at the origin counterclockwise as shown here. Now this does not only happen with the, the real pure imaginary part i it is true for any complex number uh, let us take an example uh, let us say we have a uh, complex number z equals to 2 plus i right for simplicity i am taking 2 plus i now 2 plus i could be represented on the arc and diagram with the help of uh, a diagram which has two real parts that means from here to here and then one imaginary so that becomes the rectangular coordinate right so this this is what it is right so we can say this is my vector this is my complex number z which is 2 plus i right so this is 2 and that is i now if i multiply this complex number by i what do i get i will get i times 2 plus i, right? Now, as per 
our hypothesis, we know it should actually rotate counterclockwise by 90 degrees, right? So that means the value should not be kind of like this, right? So, so let's do what happens according to the rule which we understood. That is to say, it should undergo counterclockwise 90 degrees, right? That means it should be kind of uh, here, right? So we should expect this complex number to be at this place where this point is 2i, right? And this point is minus 1. Let us see when we multiply, do we get the same result, right? If we get, we know it is rotated counterclockwise by 90 degrees, okay? Let us expand this, see what happens. We get 2i plus i square and that means i square is minus 1 so what we get here is is 2i minus 1 and rearranging we get minus 1 plus 2i so minus 1 plus 2i is just that complex number which we are looking for so as you can see in this diagram whenever you multiply by i any complex number z this is what happens, correct? What happens is, it rotates counterclockwise by 90 degrees. Let me take now a general example. Let us say we have uh, another complex number, which could be written as A plus BI. So that is a general way of writing any complex number. In that case, I times Z will be I times A plus BI. And that will give us ai plus bi square or it could be written as this is minus right so it is written as ai minus b effectively the real part here is minus p and the pure imaginary part will be ai so as you can see in general if i take any complex number which is of the form a plus bi we land up with minus b plus ai when we multiply by i so that clearly indicates that the complex number rotates counterclockwise when multiplied by the imaginary number i right so this is what we conclude and that's a very important conclusion i hope that helps you to understand the concept thank you and all the best